Hello, I'm back in Cardiff again today and I've arrived hungry which is probably not the wisest thing to do but I just remembered that I got given a Costa card not so long ago so I've got £10 worth of credit on that so I reckon I'm going to go to Costa and get a toasty and after that I'm off to do a bit of Christmas shopping Here's Costa! Ooh, is it a busy one? Don't know I see some seats, I'm going to mask up and head in seated I went for a cortado um, I think it's got like a higher percentage of coffee to milk in it and that's a soy one and cheese and tomato toasty mm. glass is quite hot to touch it's nice though I like that level of strength I spent way longer in there than I really intended to, but I was just really enjoying being in there, soaking up the ambience, seeing humans, and yeah, it was busy though, it was a long queue, right, all the time I was in there. Anyway, I've got about an hour, and then I'm meeting my daughter, and we're actually going to Ikea, so we're going to have a good old roam around Ikea, haven't been since the pandemic, so excited for that. I'm looking forward to seeing what they got in the way of Christmas stuff, as well as just having a general browse, and we're intending to have some dinner in there as well, although I'm not hungry now, because I've just had a toasty. I didn't really time it well, if I'm honest, but oh well. A lot of buskers out today with guitars. Santa's here already, look, there he's in his grotto somewhere, can't actually see him. Helpers wanted, apparently, I wonder what that's for. Making presents? I suspect not. I'm popping in here. Oh, hello, Frosty. There's a Christmas shop. That is very dazzling. It's drawing me to it. It's got little animated things, look. And there's Americandy imported candy from America, presumably. Very expensive. But I am on the sniff for toiletries, actually. Ooh, and I want to go in here as well. Present buying, you see. Bath noodles? What on earth are bath noodles? This is the pink area. And through here we have green. I'm going to have a sneaky look for presents and I'm going to switch the camera off. I'm out of there now. I was looking at board games. But I really think I need to research them better. If it is about, I do not like board games. If somebody even tries to describe a board game to me, I'm going to start yawning and my brain will switch off. So I think I need to watch some videos and see what sorts of board games exist in the world today and then choose. I'm going to pop in Holland and Barracks, I need some shampoo. This is what, ooh, ah, yeesh. I think I might wait till I can find it somewhere a bit less expensive. I mucked up my Amazon subscribe and save order and accidentally ordered conditioner, so I have two bottles of this in the cupboard now and about that much left of that one. Back out we go then. Back to plan A, which is to go, I think it's super drug or something like that. There's a great big one in there anyway, well, in the next one. Those are big paper chains, aren't they? Beauty Studio by Superdrug. This is the sort of place I never come in, but I'm looking for gifts. Yay, managed to get some presents in there. I'm heading off towards John Lewis now for a look in there. Baubles, beautiful. Going up. I always really love the decorations they have in John Lewis. It's worth coming in. 
So have a look at the decorations. I walked straight past the next up elevator, I went the wrong way. Elevator? Escalator even. Christmas trees. Oh wow, look at all this lot, yeah. The white one here, loaded with colour. Well, they have a massive selection of baubles there. Absolutely, well, I should say tree ornaments, really, because they're not strictly baubles. I need to go up again. I got distracted by the Christmas display, of course. In the kids' department now, I'm not going to reveal what I will be purchasing, if anything. I've come out of John Lewis now. I've run out of time. I need to go and meet my daughter. I'm meeting her in 10 minutes. The light's going, can you tell? I would like to say I was successful and bought Christmas presents in there, but I didn't. I was waiting and waiting for an attendant to become available so I could have a chat to them and time ran out. So I haven't, but I think I know what I want and I think I know where I can find it online. So I've been doing that online. I'm just passing by Central Library here. The lights are really starting to show up lovely now. The lights go in for the day. I'm going to go to Central Rail Station and hook up with Izzy and then we're going to travel on to Ikea together. Christmas tree. It's not an actual tree at all this year. They've done away with draping lights off a real tree and they have got a big lighty cone thing. There it is. I've come up close. I think it'll look a lot better once it's got a lot darker. It's kind of shimmering across, do you see? And it looks like you can go under it as well. Oh yeah, look. You can walk right through. <laughs> there was one in Lisbon that you could walk through but it was a lot bigger. <laughs> I'm due to meet my daughter in five minutes, so I'm just going to hang around here until she turns up. Oh, it's fully lit now, look. We're walking. I, my darling daughter actually fancied a walk to Ikea, and so do I actually, because I've still got that toasty going down. But we, I didn't film it, but we popped into a Chinese shop and I've made some purchases, but I'll show them to you later when I get back. ta -da! Ikea! We've walked and walked, and here we are. She's hungry. I am not hungry. <laughs> But I'm gonna order some food anyway. I'm sure I can smell marzipan. <laughs> but it's probably stating the obvious, but this is gonna be the first time I've ever worn a mask in Ikea. Fancy that. The last time I came in, I had probably no concept whatsoever of the big gap of going to Ikea that lay ahead. <sighs> oh, that door's working now. Well, I was rather expecting to see a huge Christmas display, but um, that's all there is, actually. Yeah, not looking very Christmassy in the foyer yet. More escalators. Been on a few of these today. Steaming up. It's very quiet in here. Oh, they've moved the kiddies' play area thing. It used to be there. It's not now. I wonder where it is then. Restaurant entrance. Oh, it's a one way thingy. <laughs> nope, not today. 
past the dime packets. Thank you, Izzy. Gonna have cup drinks with it. I'm having salmon and spuds and Izzy's having 12 meatballs because she's feeling that hungry. And we're gonna have cup drinks with it. <laughs> we have to wait two seconds. We are seated. No refills allowed now for health reasons, presumably, you know, corona and all that. I've done a complete cocktail. So I've had just about every possible drink in there except for lingonberry because I didn't want to put anything flat in with sparkling. Uh, Isabel's got a bit of a mixture. What have you got in yours then? Um, I got raspberry and lingonberry by mistake. <laughs> The lighting in here is terrible because it's right overhead. Um, I was just saying to Izzy, this is the quietest I've ever known this cafeteria to be at this kind of time of day. It's normally really busy, but it's very quiet and calm. And there's a lot of partitions in place as well, if you can see here as well. And it really does feel segmented, you know, kind of it was more like a communal feel before, but now it's all partitioned off. I don't know, it's just like, well, partitioned. Well, considering I wasn't feeling hungry, and she was. <laughs> I'm doing quite well. We're at large in the shop. We have eaten. It was very nice. Uh, 125, look for the 18 piece cutlery set, but they've changed to pastel colours now. I like these, but I don't need any. Oh, I love bunk beds. I don't know why, they just look so snug. Izzy's impressed with the fake real iPad, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's got a button on it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they got these tiny little armchairs. They're 115 pounds there, but they're like proper armchairs, but miniature. <laughs> it's really quiet in here at this time of the evening. And the soft toy section, Izzy is just as excited by them as she was five years ago. So you didn't see it because she didn't want to be on camera, but she was just practically diving into that and giving them a big cuddle. Oh, Tango, look. It's like, like mutant clones of the one we've got. <laughs> We've got a bit of a dinosaur themed bedroom here. <laughs> Giles has got a friend. Giles could have a friend. Isabel's got a koala called Giles. Hello. I don't like the whole baby attached thing. <laughs> What's well, that kind of how they. Oh, it's actually sewn on, is it? Yeah. Like if it was. Separate. Oh, it's not Velcro. If it was separate, it'd be different. It's got like a bit of cardboard there for some reason, I don't know why. What's going on here? Ikea meets Lego, £15 for a set. I mean, it's definitely Lego and it's definitely Ikea. How interesting. Let's have a little look. We've got some display cabinets here. Oh, I used to love Lego. 201 Lego brick set. We seem to be in the bed department now. Oh, hang on, no, those aren't beds. Bedside cabinets, those are. We're coming downstairs. We've only got about half an hour, so we thought we'd make the most of the time by browsing around downstairs where there's more bits that we could actually buy because we've obviously restricted to what we can carry and take on the train. I don't know if we're actually going to buy anything. We don't want anything specific. We're just having a browse, really. Look how empty it is. We are now in the rug section. I can see we're going to go home without buying a single thing from Ikea, even after walking all the way here. <laughs> in the light section. I know what I want from here. A scented candle. That's the one thing I buy. And I'm in the right place for it. Yay, here they are. Cherry, ooh, how much are they these days, I wonder? A pound. Harder to sniff them when you've got a mask on. I quite like these simple Christmas trees here, actually. 13 pound for this smallest one. It's this tall, you know, quite plain and sparse, but it reminds me of real trees, you know, because they're not too densely bushy. And you'd certainly be able to see your ornaments, wouldn't you? See, my one's ridiculous. It's just completely dense. Oh look, decorations, and more, and more. Well, 
I didn't get much in the end. I didn't get anything at all from the food bit. And we're off to get our train now, so I'll see you at home. I'm back home. This is what I've bought and didn't show you that I was buying. I bought a cherry scented candle for my cellar. Um, we did have two of these in the packet, but we ate one between us while waiting for the train. This is for the Christmas corner. It's cappuccino thins. Fancy biscuits, can't remember how much they were. From the Chinese supermarket that we popped into, that was £5.95 for all that Kickerman. So I wish I hadn't bought the tiny one from Asda yesterday. For £3.55 each, I bought these melamine plates because I've been wanting them for ages, but I didn't have an opportunity to get them before, but I have now, so I bought four of those. I also got mock duck which is a vegetarian sort of meat substitute it's actually made of gluten got two of those they were 175 a tin for one pound 25 i got all this ground coriander and this is something isabel's bought actually oh it's ended up in the hall hasn't it dearest mm. yes 195 for mochi bubble milk tea and I am going to go and edit this vlog. Thank you so much for watching this one. Could you please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to follow more of my story. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!